Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for June 26. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair gap down 15 pips has already retraced that. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue overall moving sideways, potentially going as high as 81.06, possibly as low as 79.90. Uh, 79.99 look for some resistance to the upside around 80.60 and look for some support around 80.10 okay now looking at the euro usd pair this pair closed down on friday uh, did gap just a little bit at the open starting to retrace that did create an inside bar uh, look for this pair to continue overall moving sideways although the bias is to the downside Possibly going as high as 143.77, possibly as low as 140.35. Look for some resistance around 14300 and look for some support around 141.25. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair moved lower on Friday, closed lower. It also created an inside bar, did gap a little bit, gap down a little bit. We are looking for that to retrace. Look for it to potentially go as high and hit resistance around the 160.57 mark and look for some support at 159.25. All right, now let's take a look at the US Swiss. This pair got 53 pips down. Uh, it is in the process of retracing that. We do have a very high probability that it will retrace prior to Friday's close, so make sure to keep an eye on that. Uh, it basically gapped down lower than it's ever been, uh, at least in the, the past you know, several, several years, if not decades. Uh, low uh, did move lower. I think uh, getting close to the 0 8200 mark, uh, not, or 8300 mark rather, but did not break it, uh, shy of that by about 15 pips. So it will be interesting to see if it does come on down and break through that which would mean much lower levels as well. Uh, now we are looking for it to potentially, if it does continue its move to the upside, go as high as 08437, possibly as low as 08249. Look for some resistance around 08362 and look for some support around 08315. Now, there are no news announcements going into this next session. Uh, however, we do have some things to look at uh, as far as trades go. Back out on the, uh, the U.S.-Japanese yen pair, uh, interestingly enough, I'm going to show you uh, some longer-term uh, setups, or not setups, but longer-term view of the market uh, on a couple of pairs and how that can play into a shorter-term uh, play as well. If you notice here we have a low and a low here basically uh, finding some support at that level. It's right around the 80.00 uh, 80 level. Now if we zoom back in we can see that from a short-term perspective we have a swing trade setup. We have a lower low than the middle bar before it and after it and we have a higher high than the bar before it and after it. So we have the swing trade setup we can draw a line between the two lows here and look for it to potentially come on down through there. Now, uh, using a short-term entry, we would look to enter at around the 80-20 mark and then look for it to come down about 45 pips down to our long-term support level. So uh, you need to be aware of the long-term, how that plays into the short-term. We also have this line right at the 80 zero, 0 mark that we need to be aware of uh, because that is a strong area of support as we've seen uh, before numerous numerous times one two three four five six seven times here uh, in the past several sessions so about 20 pips down you could run into a wall so you need to probably go to break even at that point and look for it to run the rest of the way uh, down another 45 pips or so now looking at the Euro USD, let's take a look at it long term. Long term I see that we have uh, potentially a head and shoulders type situation. We have a shoulder here, you come up the head and now uh, shoulders, you can see here another shoulder. We have a trend line that will line up pretty well as far as the neckline is concerned. Um, 
fairly close to where we are now. You can see we have an inside bar that was created as well. So you can take those two and look at how the long term kind of matches the short term in this particular case from an entry perspective. Uh, if you were to try to trade that, you would only have about seven pips to go. It would be a very, very quick, quick move. However, if you look at it from a breakout perspective, it is a good place for a potential breakout to occur because we have not only short-term but long-term support lining up together. And then you have other areas of support further down that you could use as potential for your exits. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. If we back out on this one, we can see that we are at a long-term area of support. Let's go ahead and tag this. You can see how this low matches up with uh, a low about two sessions ago, and then we have an area of consolidation. Well, if we break through this support, most likely we're gonna come on down uh, some ways before we hit another area uh, of consolidation like this. So it should break through quite nicely. If it does break through, we can look for it to basically bounce in this area, but have a move of about 60 pips between 159.29 and 158.68 uh, off of this one, off of this inside bar that's been created. So look for this to occur. You can see we had an area here of support and support, it did break through it, and then we had a move that was fairly quick into the downside. If that happens again, we'll go right through that area very, very quickly. On, typically on these, I'm looking to use a risk to reward of about one to one, so if I'm looking to grab 60, my stop loss would be about 60 as well. Hope that helps, and until next time, this is Jason Filder, good trading.